hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is victoria and this is time and tenderness So going forward, I just want to let you guys know that you are going to be hearing a lot of more background noise in the, in the background of my videos because I have Gabriel and he has found his voice recently. So if you hear any background noise, it's him. So now that I've gotten that little PSA out of the way, I am very excited to bring to you guys a spring cleaning series. Now I wanted last year to do a spring cleaning series, but I was pregnant last year and I did not realize that morning sickness was going to hit me as hard as it did last year. I never formally got diagnosed with hyperemesis, but I was on all the same medication for it and I was down for the count for a long time, well into my second trimester. So that is why I disappeared off the internet for a little while last year. I physically could not get off the couch or out of the bed, but this year Gabriel is with us now. He is my new cleaning buddy and I wanted to bring you a spring cleaning video and it is going to be top to bottom spring cleaning. So why top to bottom spring cleaning? Well when I sat down and I decided I wanted to do a nice spring cleaning for my house, I thought about what would be the most logical way to to go about cleaning and I figured if I start at the top of my house and work my way down I will knock all the dirt and debris off from the high spaces and eventually it'll work its way down to the low spaces and I'll be able to vacuum it sweep it mop it all up and everything will be spotless from the ceiling to the floors so that is what I'm going to be starting with you today however I recognize that now that I am a mom and now that I am in this new season of life I cannot always do what I want to do. Sometimes Gabriel has his own agenda and he requires some cuddles, some extra feeding time, or like today, right? Like today you don't want to take a long nap. Some days he just wants to only take 30 minute naps and not, not long naps but that's okay. Uh, so I'm going to be breaking this series up into different segments and today I am starting at the high end of my house working in the corners, on the ceilings, dusting um, the top cabinets in my kitchen, wiping them down. And eventually over the next couple weeks, I will be bringing you along with me to show you different spots in your home that maybe you might have forgotten about and cleaning them. So follow along. Hey guys, before we really get started in this week's video, I wanted to pop on really quick to tell you about Simply Earth. If you've been a longtime follower, you might recall that I used to be very much into essential oils, and I still am. However, I am now very excited to be working with Simply Earth instead. Simply Earth makes essential oils much more affordable, and they are really big on proper education. I'll tell you more about them later on in the video. Okay, so don't mind the sound of my washing machine in the background, but the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm taking a duster and I'm going to be going around the perimeter of all the rooms in my house. When I get a chance, I'm going to start here in the kitchen dining room area. And what I am going to be doing is I am going to take the duster and just dusting where the ceiling meets the wall. So that whole perimeter, that's where cobwebs and spider webs and dust tend to accumulate and especially up in the corners. Okay, so one thing I do wanna make sure that you all are aware of is I am using a step stool for this project starting again from the top down. So I am going to need a step stool. I want you guys, if you are using a step stool or a ladder to be very cautious and very safe. Make sure if you are home alone uh, while you're doing this project, make sure there's no pets that are going to get in the way of your step stool or your ladder. Make sure that your significant other, a parent, a friend, a family member, they know that you are going to be on an elevated surface. That way if you fall and hurt yourself, somebody can be aware of what you were doing that day. And also keep your cell phone handy. That way if you do fall, uh, your cell phone is nearby so you can call for help. So I just want you all to be safety safety conscious during these product projects, especially if you're going to be on an elevated surface.
refusing to use essential oils, there's a lot of misinformation out there about them. Simply Earth makes it not only super easy and affordable to use essential oils, but they're really big on proper education. They also donate 13% of their profits to help end human trafficking. Simply Earth sends out monthly themed boxes that will help you dive into fun DIY projects while learning all about essential oils. Month's box theme is clean laundry and all the details on how you can sign up and get a $40 gift card for Simply Earth will be in the description and comments below. Well friends, thank you so much for following along with this part one of my top to bottom spring cleaning series. I hope this short and sweet video was able to give you some ideas on how you can approach spring cleaning this year. I, once again, like I explained before, I am starting from the top and working my way down just because in my mind, I feel like that is the best way to do it this year. So let me know what areas of your home you're looking forward to start cleaning this year for spring cleaning. Let me know what you liked about this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out Simply Earth and I will see you guys next time. Bye.